my life in 2019. My life in 2019 was a bit of a roller coaster, as it is every year of my life. But I think in particular, it was one of the weirdest, most amazing, stressful years of my life. And I know I'm going to have many more of those years to come in the future. It was amazing because I have all these amazing new friends. Um, my three ride or die girls who I met in uni and I wouldn't trade them for the world. This year also taught me a lot of things, really. It taught me to not let people push you around as much and people will call you names and ridicule you and tease and bully you and humiliate you and your friends. But it doesn't mean you let it show. It doesn't mean you get really angry and scream and cry and you know yell at the rooftops and all that stuff you vent about it with your friends. I think that's a super important part. Another thing that I learned this year is how to tell my friends that I wasn't doing okay. I'd always struggle with never telling people my full emotions and so this year I'd really opened up about expressing my emotions a lot more. Not just the happy ones, all my down ones, all my negative emotions, all my bad times where I wasn't going great. And it was good to be able to express that and to do that, you know, to just, you know, say more and more of my emotions. In 2019, I also got my P's, which was a big step for me because as someone who was absolutely terrified of driving and hated, just some days hated being in a car, after three years of trying, I finally got my P's and it took me, yes, a lot longer than most people, but I did it. That's a big achievement for me. That's a big fear I conquered. Another big fear I conquered is I had something happen to me last year, as, as we mentioned here or there, and it shook me to my core to the point where my depression and anxiety was at an all-time high, low, whatever you want to call it. And I was having PTSD flashes of that event for a month or so. I hadn't gone back to that particular place since. And this year, not long ago, I signed up for a volunteering shift at the same place where it happened. I went in a little bit earlier just so that if anything were to happen, I was just kind of in my own headspace at least. I wasn't freaking too many people out. Granted, I had a panic attack as I was on the way, but I calmed myself down and I was okay. I walked into the place. I saw the building and buildings, had some flashes of what had happened, started to feel really panicky but I didn't let myself have a panic attack. I calmed myself down and I went, you're okay, you're not there anymore. You've got this, just breathe. You're gonna have a great day today. And I just kept saying that until I stopped shaking, until I stopped, I stopped just wanting to cry. And I continued on with that shift and it was a really enjoyable shift and I had a lot of fun. So that was again a huge fear of mine I conquered. Another thing that I'm really proud of is that I'd never really gone to like, I've never, okay, I've never been invited to like the big like adult parties. And by that, I mean, you know, parties where there's people drinking or smoking or loud music, stuff like that. My friends and I, throughout the years, we've always just been those types of people to sit and chill, listen to music, play some video games, but it'd always be small. I'd never been to like a big party and I was fortunate enough that like I went to one and it was scary at first I got very nervous I'd never been in the same room as like 15 guys that I weren't related to I'd never been in a room like that before where it was just solidly like 15 guys and three girls I'd never been in that scenario before 
especially because I knew like none of the guys really. One I knew because he was my cousin, it was his birthday, and he was girlfriend really well, so we hung out and his sister was there. They were the main people I knew. But for me, it was an experience because I came out of my comfort zone and I had a lot of fun with the party. Yes, I was like the mom figure and I was cleaning and stuff like that. But in retrospect, I had a lot of fun because people were chatting to me and having conversations and as someone who feels like they don't fully know how to talk to guys that well, um, even while having a boyfriend, I still was very nervous and none of them would like try and talk to me because I was this girl that none of them knew or you know, things like that. But they were all really sweet and funny and you know, made me feel really comfortable and just, it was a really good night. So to me that meant a lot, you know, things like that. In 2019, I started uni, and it was a blessing that I'd always wanted. I'd always wanted to get into uni because it was instilled in me my whole life to get into uni, at least. And now that I'm in and I'm doing it, and I think it's just made me realize more and more that I don't want to do my degree as a job, which is good. It's made me realize what I want to do. Which is awesome. In 2019, I also have been going to the gym and losing weight and gaining confidence in myself that I'd never had. You know, I did photo shoots with my friends, even though I was very nervous, it was a lot of fun. And I want to be proud of my body. I went from, you know, weighing 77 kilos to now. 66, 67 kilos, depending on the day. You know, I lost all, pretty much 10 kilos throughout this year. And it's amazing to me because I'd always seen myself as a really fat kid and now I'm almost at, I think, every weight from my age and that shocks me. I'm going to the gym, I'm getting stronger. You know, like, I now have muscles and I never had that before. Like I had muscles, but I never, you couldn't see the muscles, it's just normally like flub. But now it like, it moves when I flex. It's weird, it's cool, it's fun. Things I never realized, you know? 2019, I celebrated my 10 year anniversary of being friends with my, my one of my best friends. As well, I celebrated my, I think it's 14 year friendship. Yeah, 14 year friendship with my other best friend. Which is insane. It's, you know, think about it. A kid who's 10 or 14 years old, that's long I've been friends with someone. It's insane. You know, stuff like that. In 2019, I also did a mental health first aid course so I can now help people if they're, you know, if I'm at an event or just walking around and someone's having an anxiety attack or they're having a depressive state or a psychotic state like a psychotic break or all these other things I can help them and to me that's amazing because I want to help people as much as humanly possible so that's just another thing I can check off on my list which I think is super cool I'm filming this before the end of the year it's like end of November but in 2019 I also signed up to a big event that I'm very nervous to go to, but I think it will go well. And I've got a su great support team. You know, this one I don't have as much of a support team there. My cousin's my support team, and she's not going to be there. But I also know that like my mum's going to be at the house, so if I need to, I can call her. Um, things like that. And I'm really excited and nervous for it. I also turned 19 years old. <laughs> One more step to not being a teenager. It's a weird world we live in. But in 2019, I had people who lied to me and who treated me badly and I cut ties with some of them. I don't want to continually have toxic people around me. It's just not what I want. But I also learned this year that People are going to say stuff to you, doesn't mean they mean it. 
Just because someone says, I will do this, I've learned not to fully expect them to do it. And I know that's a sad thing to realise, but I think, think of it more of like this. I realise now that, you know, people say something or like, be like, you know, I'm gonna buy you a hundred roses. I'm gonna be like, okay, sure, whatever. But then if it actually happens, I'm a lot more happy, I'm a lot more shocked and surprised and it's a lot more happier emotions versus if it doesn't happen, I'm okay with it. In 2019, I was fully, I would say fully exposed to the wondrous world of K-pop and like I wasn't, I was exposed to it before, but now that I've got my uni friends, they have just grabbed me and like chucked me in that K-pop pool and like, girl, I'm swimming in happiness. It's a lot of fun. I'm still, there's still heaps and heaps I don't know, but I'm learning as much as I can. 2019, I got back into anime. I love watching it again. In 2019, I also did cosplaying for the first time, which was really fun and really cool and special. I enjoyed that a lot. And it was just really cool to get out of your comfort zone again and try something new. In 2019, I continued to tell my friends how much they mean to me and how much I love them. By sending them voice memos out of the blue or just simple texts or if I see them, little random acts of kindness. So for example, one of my friends left her credit card at home and she couldn't buy anything to eat and so she was getting hungry. Obviously, I'm not going to let her get hungry, so I bought her a drink. The other uni girls bought her like some food and the other girl gave her some money so she can catch the train home. We all pitched in to help her out. The little things like that go a long way and to me, I love to help people. I love that, seeing people happy and smile, so doing whatever I can to help people means a lot. In 2019, I had a bit of a rocky relationship with some family members, but that always happens. And. I think it was just kind of learning that I am my own person. I do what I like, I do what I want, I live how I live. I am not going to enforce it on other people, they won't enforce it on me and if they try to, they can deal with it. In 2019 I also learned how to do makeup properly. I've always known how to do makeup but I never knew how to do eyeshadow for example. I never knew how to contour, I never knew you know, different techniques, what different brushes before and now I'm learning this stuff. And it's really cool to see. It's a lot of fun. In 2019, I had many panic attacks. I had a fair amount of panic attacks throughout the year. But I learned how to you know, help myself through them. Because I don't like involving people in them, but I did what I did. I also had some depressing episodes. But... You just keep going and keep walking through it. In 2019, I also went to Bali for the first time in my life and I enjoyed it a lot. It was just a fun experience. It was very relaxing and peaceful and just overall fun. And it was really awesome to go to and I would definitely go again. Um, all new experiences I'd never done, like riding an elephant, going to a monkey forest, to, you know, just different things like that. It was really cool. <laughs> in 2019, Trico turned one years old and she's now going to puppy schooling. It's not going great, not because she's doing badly, but because I'm not a confident person, per se. There are still a lot of areas in my life where I need to be more confident in. There's a lot more areas in my life I need to be more stern in. That is still a work in progress and will be for the longest time. In 2019, I cut most of the red off my hair as you can see, so it's just like this. I cut it short, and I loved it a lot, and I still love it a lot. A lot has happened throughout this year, <laughs> trying to remember it all is crazy. And it's just been so many amazing events that has happened. I got to meet the governor again. <laughs> weird that I can say again. I met him again. I met... Uh, there's so many. 
yeah, when I am walked past the first aid tent and said hi, you know, I got to just be me, which was a crazy thing. I bought clothes that actually fit my body properly. I'm putting out photos on my Instagram that are different to what I normally would post. I went through a full on Instagram cleanse and deleted a bunch of photos that were not needed. And I heavily thought about for next year changing the YouTube channel, the name, the branding, the whole lot, putting it on a completely new channel. That I'm still indecisive on. There's a lot of things that I'm excited about, I'm nervous about, I'm scared about, but I have fun. In 2019, I played a d and I play a little bit of d and and that's good for me because I haven't played it in so long and I missed it. And being able to play it with my cousin as well, my younger cousin, and him DMing it, it was just so surreal because he was the headmaster, quote unquote, and he would ask me for advice. He'd ask me for help because he wasn't unsure or he was stuck. So we bonded a lot over that and I helped him behind the scenes and then I came to one of his sessions and I had a blast. It was so fun. Like shout out to all the boys. You're probably not watching but like I think I give a huge shout out to Matt. He like all the boys were generally nice, don't get me wrong, but like one of the guys, Matt, he was just so sweet. He made sure I felt comfortable. He's like, you know, hey, how are you? You know, are you okay? And like, it's really bad because I like completely just hated on his character. But, you know, all the boys were like laughing and you know, it was just a lot of fun and they made me feel included and it was really, really cool. And I enjoyed it a lot. And it was just an amazing experience. And I hope I can go to the next session again if, if my cousin doesn't kick me out first. <laughs> But it was just these cool little things that I really enjoyed and I had a lot of fun with. I, even though I wasn't invited to, I took photos for a wedding. Correction, I took videos for a wedding and made a wedding video, which I'm going to give to them as a present because I just finished it up now. How mind blowing is that? Like. I don't know, I find that insane. You know, just all these little things to normal people would mean absolutely nothing. To me, it means so much. It just means a lot. You know, I took, I started to take care a lot more of my skin routine. Routine. You know, I would do face, facials or, you know, just put on like a face mask or like do the scrubs or things like that. Put on like the lip gel things when my lips were really bad and the under eyes and really try and take care of my body because I've only got one and I'm taking care of it pretty well like I was a quote unquote big girl before but like now sorry I'm gonna stand up so I'm shivering back like you know I'm not sucking in or anything now you can almost see abs which I've never had before you know it's insane before that was just all fat. It's crazy. And I'm having a lot of fun. So that's kind of my year in 2019. They're all a coaster of a ride. But, you know, I definitely enjoyed it. As much as I've wanted to scream and cry and, you know, do crazy stuff like that, I also value all the happy moments and I value every minute of it because the cliche saying but it shaped me to be who I am it's so true you know every single moment every single crying session every single you know negative every single neutral emotion or every single joy and happiness and just all around cheerfulness I experienced it this year and that's such a, a surreal thing to think, you know? I'm a 19 year old woman who is experiencing all these new things for the first time and is enjoying life. I'm not going out and partying and drinking, I'm not doing any of that stuff, but you know, I'm 
connecting more with my friends. I'm delving more into myself. I'm not doing the inner peace stuff, but like, you know, I'm just seeing what I need and what makes me happy and enjoying every second of it, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this video here until I guess my life in 2020. Ah, the decade is ending. The decade is ending. How weird. I just thought of that. Oh my god. I've lived through an entire decade of growing up. I know you'd probably be like, yeah, well, you need to be like 2000, 2010, but like. This is more surreal. I've paid taxes this year. I've gotten a job. I've driven car. I've gotten a boyfriend. I've taken care of my body, losing weight. I've graduated primary school to high school and I graduated high school. I'm in university. There's a lot of big moments in this decade for me. And it's ending. That's insane, it just clicked in my head. Oh my god. And 2020 is gonna be the start of a new decade. And I'm excited for that journey to start. 2020, here we come, baby. <laughs>